It is mid-October here in New Hampshire and it is a beautiful day. The sun is shining and although it's a little cool right now, it's due to hit 70 again today. This might also be our last chance to get out and see the fall colours before they pass their peak in this area. So we're going to head out. It's a Thursday. We've learned from our lesson last time and we are not going out at the weekend this time. So we're off on a little road trip to do some sightseeing and a few little hikes. So come along as we explore what might be the last of the fall colours in New Hampshire this year. Our plan for today is to make a loop through the Monadnock region of New Hampshire, starting with Peterborough, then drive through Winchester, hike near Keene, and drive through Hancock. Our first stop today is here at Peterborough. We have no idea what's here, but we've stopped at a little parking lot just near this bridge called Brenner Bridge, and we're gonna go for a little walk around the town and see what we can find. The colors are astounding. Compared to what we saw just a week ago further north, everything here is so bright again. A lot of the stores around here are some really nice little art stores and craft stores. We've just been like a little antique store here, but the one that's caught our eye is a bakery. So I think we're going to treat ourselves to a little breakfast snack. Feet, turn right onto Ashwillow Street. Actually, uh, yes I can, we're empty. I can. That's 6,000 pounds. Sure? Yeah. So we were just driving down the road through Swansea, New Hampshire, and Diana saw a sign for a covered bridge, so we had to take a detour and come and check it out. You can see the bridge just behind me here. It's a really nice bridge. I, I really like these covered bridges. We were looking for a weight limit as we got up to the bridge and it wasn't until we got to the very edge that we saw it said three tons, which just is enough to let our truck through. So we've driven over it and it's pretty cool. We would not be driving over this with our trailer in tow though. That is not allowed. No, to no towing over the bridge at all, but also when we have the tongue weight of the trailer on there, our truck would be too heavy anyway. We've stopped here for a short hike around Goose Pond. We kind of lucked out though, because the parking lot here is tiny. There's only space for about a half dozen cars or so. And as we arrived, it was full, but someone was leaving. So we were able to grab their spot. And we're now off to do this short hike. I think it's about two miles all the way around the, the pond and back to the car. After that, we'll go and get some lunch. And uh, so hopefully this doesn't take us too long. My usual source for finding hiking trails is alltrails.com and that is exactly what I used to find this goosebond hike near Keene. We 
We finished the hike around Goose Lake here. It was about 2.2 miles and took us a little over an hour. We were really just taking our time. It's a very, very easy hike around the lake. The weather has been beautiful, clear blue skies, and it's warmed up. It's probably 70 degrees now. So we took our time, took a lot of photos across the lake. We are now gonna head into Keene and get some lunch. Uh, we're not as prepared as we usually are, so we haven't brought lunch with us today, but we'll go and find somewhere in town. Our second covered bridge for the day was Hancock Greenfield Covered Bridge. The bridge was built in 1937, replacing a long truss covered bridge built in 1852. We just drove through Hancock Greenfield Covered Bridge and arrived at the Powder Mill Pond, which is the final destination for today. And the weather here is basically how it's been all day today. It's absolutely glorious. The blue skies, the yellows, oranges and reds of the leaves. It's really, really beautiful. This is probably also our last stop seeing the foliage this season, this year in New England. Yeah, because this is uh, the peak around here and it just needs a little bit of rain and then it disappears or so a cold fast. cold snap or something. Yeah, yeah and, it'll it, be gone. and it's going to rain tomorrow. So uh, I'm really glad we got this beautiful road trip in today. I didn't really know what to expect from the New England, the fall and the colors and things. I'd heard it was meant to be spectacular. I've been blown away. Uh, it is absolutely incredible. The colors are just so vibrant. Yeah. Like, I think that's what really got me. I was expecting oranges and browns and things. It's like traffic lights. <laughs> it's like <laughs> bright red, bright orange. It's really, really stunning. And I'm so pleased we've been here to see it. And I think especially when you get a sunny day like this, it really brings out those colors. And as we've been driving along, there's been so many places where we've had these amazing reflections out in the water, especially this morning when we, we first came out before yeah. the wind picked up. And you just see these like orange mountains reflected in the lake and this beautiful kind of yeah. orange reflection as well. Absolutely stunning. If you get a chance and you haven't already been to New England in full, I would highly, highly recommend yes. it. It's been absolutely wonderful. And and it does last, what, we've been here three or three weeks or so that yeah. we've, we've seen it for. And it's true that it really does move from north to south. Uh, so we are, like you say, right at the peak now and, here in the south. Yeah, and that has been off uh, New Hampshire. I mean, there's still Maine further north where it starts a little bit earlier. And I think the Massachusetts and Connecticut, especially southern Massachusetts and Connecticut, they still haven't reached peak yet. Um, so the whole yeah. season is, is even longer. There's a lot more still to see. The covered bridges, I think we, well, I certainly, I didn't really know about before we got yeah, here. Yeah, me neither. And we've seen a few already. I think there's like 60 something in New Hampshire and there's a lot more than that around the area as well. So maybe we'll have to pick up a few more of those this winter and uh, see what some of those look like, maybe covered in snow. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider subscribing for more adventures. <music>